Okay, guys, this is your video for finding the area of a regular dodecagon with a radius of 5 centimeters to the nearest tenth. We are doing this live with 1, 2 right now, so everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I have actually got them answering all of the questions and giving me all the numbers. So if they're wrong, I blame them and just don't watch this video from now on. All right. So when we make it, uh, when we find the area of a regular dodecagon, when we find the area of any regular polygon, we have to have two things. We have to have the apothem and we have to have the perimeter because we remember we are using area equals one half apothem times perimeter. That is our formula that we use. Okay. Now, the big thing is we have a lot of trig in this, and the, really the only thing that we care about is our triangle that we have to find in the center. Okay. So what was our first step, guys? What was our first step on the last problem we just did? We make a central, make a central angle. Thank you, Tori. So when we make a central angle, we have to find the center, right? Roughly. I know it's probably not. Oh, gosh, no. That's all right. And then, of course, we draw in the two radii to make the central angle. Okay, that was step number one, make the central angle. What was step number, oh, wait, what am I missing from step number one? Thank you, Olivia, way back in the back, probably didn't even hear it. <laughs> 360, always the number 360, why is it always the number 360, RJ? Because all the interior angles make 360. No, well, are you talking about the central angles? Central. There we go. That's what you're going for, right? We make, a, we make a circle in there, and it's 360. And we always do it divided by what number? Number, number of sides. Thank you. We've got a dodecagon. How many sides? And a num oh. Thank you. How many of you knew that without counting what was there? Nice. Good job. All right. So we've got 12 sides. When we do that, we should get what degrees? 30 degrees. So 30 degrees for the central angle. That's all step one. What was step two? Aaron? Drop the apothem, right? It's going to be dropped directly from the center, straight down, right? It's perpendicular. And what does that do, Matt? Uh huh. He wasn't paying attention, so that's why I caught him. Matt, what does that do when we drop the apothem? What does it do to the central angle? Cuts it in half. Thank you, sir. So this is 15 degrees right there. Okay. What was step three? Find missing lengths, right? And Aaron, when we're finding the missing lengths, it kind of depends on what we're given, correct? So we have to figure out what we're given. We have to look at what we're given before we can figure out what we need. Now, if we go back up to our problem, we were given a radius of 5 centimeters. <clears throat> so my radius, 5 centimeters right there. So ultimately, I'm going to need the apothem and the side length because I have neither. So when I do this, when I do this, okay, I'm going to have, what, what is the trick that I like to do? What do I really just need? What do I need to focus on? That part of the triangle, the central triangle. And so I really just need the one ha the half of it. So I'm really actually just going to redraw the triangle. It's not going to be to scale, but it's going to be bigger so I can work with it. I know that up here I've got 15 degrees. Over here I've got 5 centimeters. Okay. So I know that I need both the apothem and I'm going to need this little side length, right? The apothem's right here and this little side length, I'll just call it S for side length, okay? All right, we need both of them. So we got to do a little bit of trig, right? So Katoa, Kyra, do you want to sit up at the 15 degree angle up here or do you want to sit over here at 75? 15? Okay, so we'll sit at 15. And if we're looking at this, if I'm sitting here, across from my triangle is the opposite side, and next to that angle is the adjacent side. And of course, this is my hypotenuse. Which do you want to find first? Cam, what do you want to find first? Find the you want to find the apothem, so we're going to find the adjacent side, right? Okay. So when we're doing this, if we have our hypotenuse, we need our adjacent I have my hypotenuse. I need my adjacent. What am I doing? So, katoa. Cam? Cosine. cosine, right? So, I write cosine of 15 equals, and it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. And I kind of write the A there because that's what I plugged in. A over 5. Variable is in the numerator. So, am I multiplying or dividing? Multiplying. Thank you. What number always gets entered into that calculator first? 
the side length, the normal number, right? So it's going to be 5 times the cosine of 15. 5 times the cosine of 15. What did we get for that one? 4.83, right? All right, so 4.83. So I'm actually going to go and erase this. So I have it 4.83 on my diagram. And I'm going to go back and plug it up here because I now have my apothem. So 4.83, we're dealing with centimeters. i got to find one more part, right? I've got to find this side length right there. Right? And I can choose trig again. I can use trig again for that. This time, though, if I have, again, I'm going to deal with my hypotenuse. I have my hypotenuse. I need the opposite side. What am I using, Olivia? Sine, sine right? So it's going to be sine of 15 equals opposite. I'm going to just, I uh, will use an X this time because I don't want to use the S. X over 5. All right, so we'll make that an X right there. And again, it's nice, it's easy. My variable is in the numerator, so it's going to be multiplying x equals 5 times the sine of 15. What did we get for that? 1.29. Aaron, is that what you got too? Yep. All right, so we got confirmation by both RJ and Aaron. We got 1.29. So this is 1.29, right? Is that exactly what I need though? No. What do I need to do to that 1.29? I got to double it. That 1.29 is only half of my side. So when I double my side, my side is actually going to be 2.58 centimeters. Fantastic. Now, <clears throat> what does that do for me? Helps me find my perimeter, right? To find my perimeter, to find my perimeter, Sean, I haven't heard from you. To find my perimeter, what do I need to do with that 2.58? Multiply it by the number of sides, and I have how many sides? 12, right? So my perimeter is going to be a 12 times 2.58. So it will equal, what was 30.96. Okay, 30.96 centimeters, right? And then what do I do with my two numbers? Plug it into my formula, right? I have my apothem. I have my perimeter. All I have to do now is plug them in. I'm going to find some nice clean space. So my area is going to be 1 half times my apothem, which was 4.83, whoops, 3, times my perimeter, which was, I already forgot it, 30.86. 9, see, I told you I forgot it. 9, 6. Okay. I really hope that we can all hear this giggling. <laughs> like, it's just going to be great. Bye, Liz, thank you. And so then, Olivia, what do we get? 74.7, whoopsies, 7 <laughs> centimeters squared. I don't know why you guys are laughing at me. You, I say this all the time. <laughs> all right, so that should be it, right? Questions, comments, concerns on that problem? No? All right, everybody say bye. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh.